Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on quantum mathematics and our topic for today is vectors. <clears throat> we are going to be looking at equivalent vectors. Basically how we represent vectors, this is the introduction bit of vectors. How do we represent them? What are the vectors that are equivalent or equal? <clears throat> then what are some of the negative or uh, opposite vectors? So first of all, vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. When you talk about magnitude, we are talking about distance and direction. Uh, for example, we have acceleration force and uh, velocity and force. A quantity with magnitude only is referred to as scalar quantity and examples are like mass, temperature and time. So let's take an example. We talked about uh, when you are locating towns in bearings and you are saying, for example, if you have town B, that is, we have town uh, B that is 50 kilometers away from town B, for example. This is 50 kilometers. If we only say that town A and town B, the distance between them is only 50 kilometers, then the quantity that we are talking about in this case is magnitude. But if we go ahead and say that A is in northeast of, uh, B is north, in northeast of town A, uh, and the distance is 50 kilometers, you see we have the direction. The direction is the northeast and the distance is 50 kilometers. If we only talk about, uh, Distance, you're only talking about magnitude, that we say that is scalar. But if we introduce now the direction, then we say that forms a vector because it has both distance and it also has direction. So when you talk about uh, representing vectors, they're usually represented by a directed line as shown. So you always see maybe there's a distance between two points, A and B, and you will see the direction, which is represented by an arrow. And you can see this is a vector because there is distance, there is a distance between A and B, and there is direction which is represented by the arrow. So the, the direction of the vector is shown by an arrow, so the magnitude is the length of AB. So magnitude is the length of AB, and it's usually denoted by A, B with two lines. This is how we denote magnitude. We are going to calculate magnitude later on in a previous lesson. So vector AB also can be written, so we can write AB in this form or AB using an arrow. So these are some of the ways we represent vectors and you're going to see these uh, variations, especially when we, we dig deeper into the topic of vector. So A is the initial point and B is the terminal point. So also, when it comes to representation of vectors, it can also be represented using an A. So we can see this same vector because you use the initial point. Uh, so we are going to use A to represent this vector. So this vector is commonly written as like this. So you will see this a lot, especially when we get into um, calculating addition and subtraction of vectors. So let's look at equivalent vector. Vectors that are equivalent, um, they are said to be equal. And if they are equal, it means they have the same distance or the same magnitude and the same direction. So if they have the same uh, direction and same uh, magnitude, we say that they are, for example, when you look vector A and vector B, they are moving in the same direction, you can see, and their sizes are equal. So we say vector A and B are actually equivalent. And then you can see also P and Q, they are moving in the same direction and their magnitude or sizes are the same. So we say that vector P and Q are equivalent. And then when you look at the negative vectors, they can actually be equivalent, they, they can be the same, but the only difference is opposite. So we can't really say they are, they are the same, but they are opposite even if their distances are or their sizes are equal. So when you look at vector A and B, you can see their size is the same, yes, but when you look at the direction, it's opposite. Or A moves in the opposite direction with B. So we just say that they are negative, but they cannot be equivalent. And then also P, Q, you see the sizes are the same, as you can see, but the directions are in the opposite. 
So we can say that P, a vector P and vector Q are, are uh, ne opposite vectors of each other. So let's look at a few examples of questions. So you've been given this uh, a graph and then there are some specific vectors that have been placed. So name the pair of vectors which are equal and then the ones that are, have equal magnitude but opposite directions. So we start with the ones that are equal. We say the ones that are equal are the ones that have the same direction and the same uh, distance direction and magnitude. So we will start with a simple one. So if you look at this uh, vector here, this f vector, and look at this vector here, you notice they are equal. They are equivalent because you can see, first of all, they are moving in the same direction, as you can see, and also their distances are equal. If you look carefully, you notice that the distance is equal. Another vector that we can say is equivalent, we can pick um, this vector here, down here, m and vector q. So we have vector m is equal to uh, vector q. And because the reason why we are saying they are equal is because you can see the distance is the same and the direction is the same. They are all moving downwards. So those are some of the examples of equivalent uh, vectors. Uh, let's see if we can get any other. Um, so he, he doesn't have a partner, but you notice that when you got the second question, he will help us to understand the second question. So J. J also is not moving in the same direction. Um, R and K, they are not moving in the same direction. All right. This one is also not moving in the same direction as this. Okay, so the only two that we have not identified is F and the vector up on the top and the M and Q and the vector at the bottom. So name a pair of vectors with equal magnitude but opposite direction. And we will start with these two D and B because they are very direct as you can see them. So you can see vector D is opposite. So, and then D is negative uh, B. You're going to put it like that. So they have equal magnitude because their distances are the same, but you can see their directions are, are opposite. And we get to see their directions are opposite by the, the sign or the arrow, how it's moving. Also, we look at E and N down here. You can see they are equal, yes, but you can see the opposite are, their directions are opposite. And also you can see F, our f that we had, we can compare our f uh, with, let's see if we have an f with another value. So if you look at hi and p also, they are, these two, they are of the same uh magnitude but in opposite direction right i hope you have identified that one as well and then let's see if we have any other so h not not really so those are the examples of the ones that have equal magnitude but opposite direction so you can get more questions on identifying uh, equal, equivalent uh, vectors and the ones that have the same magnitude but different direction in the app. So see you in the next lesson.